The big ones are two kilos. The little ones are one kilo. Gotta build it adjustable. See that we have that so we can change the tension of the spring. We also have another spring right there that we were testing with. Pendulum here. Threaded. So you can adjust the height. We got a little bit sticking out at the bottom. That's very important to get your timing right. Up a little bit, down a little bit, it won't oscillate. You have to have it oscillate. When you get it to oscillate, then you add your, then you turn your Bedini coil on. <laughs> and we actually, here, why don't we stop that? See, that's our alignment. Pretty close to right, right on with that Bedini coil. So hopefully, when the magnet passes, it's at a top speed, which seems to be at a good enough speed. Okay, now this here your amps, the tack of course isn't accurate but it, I believe it's showing you every time the Bedini coil pulses or fires that that needle jumps there and that's our running the, the battery voltage of the battery, battery we are running off of. We are also charging a battery right now but that's not really what we're trying to figure out. We're trying to figure out how much electricity we're actually using. And it appears it appears due to that spring tension the spring here is constantly under pressure That spring in the front there, here the spring, stays under tension. We have weights up there. You can add more weights, less spring tension, whatever you want to do there. But uh, I really like to figure out the, uh, the amps we're using. This is my chart. So you can read any of that shit up there. Um, you have ohms, voltage, rest, charge, run voltage, secondary amps, watts, primary volts, amps, watts, RPMs. So you keep track of all those things and you're not... Uh, fuck.
So I had that Bedini coil on a 9 inch plastic rotor and I was running about 300 RPMs which I calculated about 2300 pulses per minute. This setup we got about 140 pulses per minute which is 16.8 times less pulses per minute. So I'm wondering does that mean we are using 16.8 times less electricity? Uh, I don't know. I see people use this and add a chain in there and spin a flywheel. I think that's what we're going to do next and see if we can get some magnets to run past some coils and generate some electricity for that primary battery. It seems like this can do some work here. And that, if you, you Bedini experimenters know with the Bedini, the Bedini type coils and electronic circuitry, you don't produce torque, which it's very efficient electric motors, but you're not producing a lot of torque. And here, it seems that we are now using the Bedini coil to tap that pendulum to get the mechanical two-stage oscillator to continue to oscillate, which that gets used, makes torque. So maybe we're on to something here, maybe we're not, but I thought I would share it, share this video, if I haven't seen any setups like this. So, I guess that's about all. I think we're just going to let this thing run out for a while, just so you can see it's just keeps on running. You know, this whole setup here, all things we had laying around that we can test with. First test was with a smaller bicycle. which looked promising and the test results merited the scale up which by the way thank you Nadia for the donation of the bicycle my daughter donated her bicycle to science Got her mounted. Got 
Put your stabilizer in there. Get your magnets and your drill bit there. Like wanted to be this when it grew up. Bam. We still have our amperage doing the same thing. You know, this system benefit from running us a little cap in there with the with the battery. I don't know. Any advice would be greatly appreciated.